Hello fam and welcome back to another edition of The Family Affair featuring Dave Chanel's 40s World. Yes, I co-host with you all and we sit and we dialogue on some featured social media trending stories that are out there for the masses to partake of. Okay, we're going to be talking about Nene Leakes today and this ladies of success she keeps talking about. And it comes at a very pivotal time in our age of the situation we're going through now with the equality situation or the systematic racial policies that are being in place and enforced on one group of people. Just a total outrage right now. And we got protesting going on throughout the 50 states. All right. But Nene continues to go forward with her Ladies of Success, where it is definitely pitching one group, one race, and one equality for one set of people. Now, isn't that what we are actually fighting against, Nene? We don't want privilege in any race. We're tired of it being predominantly in the white race. You're suggesting that from your photos, women of color need to be the new or seen as the new privy type of people just as long as they got money. Because you don't set up this whole thing where you all are a, a organization and you take monies for dues and all of this and with those dues that are being paid, I don't know, monthly annually or whatnot it gives you perks to certain uh environments uh certain engagements where you may be rubbing elbows with more affluent people in the celebrity world i don't know what nene is promising you all when you become a part of the ladies of success however nene claims the fame that she was supposed to have an outing with these ladies one weekend and she was getting to run around from a certain hotel establishment. However, Nene didn't give us that information so we could go boycott them in a sense. Why she didn't, I don't know why, but she talking about them. Sort of like the thing she was doing was saying she wasn't talking about candy, but the um, bulk of the public watching the show pretty much geared to believing, uh, you know, otherwise that she was talking about candy. But... Go over to ATLN, or most people know her. She represents, she's the owner of Straight From The A publications uh, as far as vlogging and doing entertainment gossip news on celebrities. Yes, that's Michelle, Michelle Brown. She's from Atlanta, does a very good job. She hangs out with pretty much all of the Real Housewives of Atlanta as far as getting interviews. Now, are they her personal friends? I'm not sure. Because I'm sure when she wants to do a story, she's going to break that story. <laughs> she don't care if it's Nene she talking about. She don't care if it's Candy, Cynthia, Portia, Marlo, Tanya, or Kenya. She don't care. She's going to break that story, honey. I let the cookies fall where they may. And I ain't mad at her. That's part of good journalism. So, I did get a little pictures from her platform. Or, you know, she's marking, watermarking her logo. And I want to say, thank you, Michelle. Don't flag me. <laughs> I'm actually uh, kind of, what do you call it? Uh, I'm not part of your Patreon, but I subscribe to your YouTube channel. And I do follow you on your social media platforms as well. And I often tell people to come over there and see you and see what you got going on. All right. But we're talking about the Nene Leaks establishment. Okay. And we do, like I said, bloggers like Michelle Brown. She is probably more than likely invited, invited to a host of different gatherings where she gets to... You know, rub bell bowls with them, give a little hugs and kisses on both of their cheeks. And, you know, swap little stories that, you know, the celebrities want to break out. Okay, so they go and befriend some of these vloggers and thinking, you know, they're going to be on this side. But hopefully they're in the side of truth. So, but like I said, 
Michelle's a good person to go watch in a sense. Go see what she's putting out on her channel and stay informed. Um, but we're talking about this Nene Leaks. And we have Alex or Alexis Stone from Celebrity Insider breaking a piece out on her uh, for her company. And at the title of the article it reads, Nene Leaks is proud to be a self-made successful entrepreneur woman. Now, me, I've had my own small businesses, ventures, and things of that nature. And there is no such thing as a self-made anybody. Okay? There ain't nobody self-made. You always had to have someone gunning for you and opening up doors for you. Okay? I've never met someone who's totally self-made that nobody had to pull them up where they were were and saw something in them and made them go a little further than they probably would have had an opportunity to go so i don't know what nene talking about but let's go on into the story and see if we can find a little bit more information where we can understand where she's coming from uh but pretty much i doubt i will because like i said i do believe whether you're a woman or a man nobody uh, gets everything by themselves for themselves if anything you have the help of the lord if you're spiritual but if you're not you know just is what it is okay but the article reads nene leaks is really proud to be a successful lady and she made sure to tell this to the whole world she publicly said that she could not be prouder of being a self-made successful entrepreneur woman I'm so proud to be a part of this amazing circle of self-made successful entrepreneurial women from around the world. I can recall just last year in November when we wanted to host our first annual loss, I'm thinking, uh, Ladies of Success conference in Miami, Florida. We chose a hotel on the beach that we thought would be perfect to my surprise after getting the run around for a few weeks, countless phone calls and emails we learned that they didn't want a group of black women there. Can you guess which hotel that was? This all happened just days before the events were to take place. We were left scrambling for a host hotel. Nene began her post. Sidebar, Nene. Oh, family, what do y'all think? Do y'all know which hotel she was talking about? I don't know and could pretty much care less. Nene, were you asking these people to give you free lodging? You weren't trying to pay for the rooms yourself and just ask for complimentary, um, what do you call those? Av oh, we come in, uh, appetizers or drinks or something to that, you know, a fair. I mean, I don't know. But you're Nene, Nene, you're Nene Leaks and you're known for reality tv it's not like you're a well-known actress or a businesswoman who has a fortune 500 company um you see where i'm going with this nene and then if you had connections and you're very self-made and uh successful to your degree of what you're thinking why would they give you the run around okay because money spends money spends okay you're not oprah winfrey and lord knows when she was in switzerland i think a time or two uh she got hit with her first racism type thing where money didn't always float you had to be of the right caliber and i guess the right look I, i'm not really sure but back in switzerland somewhere her and gail were shopping and they were trying to buy a pocketbook and the person refused to let her even see the pocketbook that was locked up in a cabinet. And this is a big old uh, ruckus. And of course, Oprah wasn't going to have that. So she posted on her social media. And I'm like, oh, so you got your first brush with being successful, well known. And you went to a country where they didn't care who you were, what you were. This is just what it is. But I guess after you made such a big stink or your PR people made such a big stink, they went on and gave you the purse that you were seeking and anything else you wanted to buy. My behind, I would have walked on out, okay, with a boycott at the place and it would just been what it is. But Oprah was pushing her weight 
buying product that they didn't want you to have Oprah in the first place. But it just is what it is. I digress. Anyway, going back to this article with Nene. She continued to say it. Most sponsors were approached seem to have given out all their funds as well so they couldn't support us. Side eye. But I was determined to make it happen for these ladies. I put up my own money. I later got a phone call from an amazing beach hotel that said, We want you all here at our hotel. Now, of course, Nene did not express the hotel. Or I didn't see it in the article of what hotel hosted them and probably gave them free stay and all that stuff. Just to bring in more uh, people to their hotel that Nene would suggest that they go stay there. But see, one thing I don't too much care for is people get to a certain degree of success and they feel everything needs to be given free to them. I'm like, what are you going to do for them, Nene? Are you going to promote them on all your social media platforms to uh, tell them to go and patron them so they can make up the money that they spent on you and your entourage or your group of women? Are they going to recoup that money back? Or you're hoping they just use your platform far as who you are, that you stayed with them and that other people would come and venture and, you know, hopefully get the same hotel that you stay, I mean, a room at the beach hotel that you were staying in. And, you know, they can get that experience of being in the room of a celebrity, reality star person, individual. I, I don't know, Nene, where you're going with all this. But anyway... It doesn't seem to be very kosher. It seems like you want everything for free. And you could just drop a hint or two that you stay at this particular place. And it was lovely. You should go and, you know, you shout out certain people and, and that's enough. Well, Nene, you didn't even put in there from what I'm reading unless I'm going to find out later on. What was the hotel that gave you all the free lodging? So people can say, okay, they good for humanity. They good for every walks of life. Not just for black, but for white, Asians, Indian, Eskimos, and whatever race that's out there that I may have forgotten. The Hispanics. You know, they're a well-rounded group of, uh, a well-rounded establishment where they look at all people, all walks of life. So I, I want to go there if I'm ever in the area. But you didn't even drop... Uh, information on that person you didn't tell the person or the organization that refused for you all to come stay at their hotel and you didn't tell us the one that you actually did go to and they sponsored you all i'm like how empty can you be nini but you're sitting there saying you're part of an organization that you and a group of other ladies have founded called the ladies of success are you kidding me nini I'm not understanding this. I'm really not. I'm trying to, but I'm not understanding it. Going back to the article, it says, Nene also said, you can't stop greatness. We are now planning our second one, second annual Ladies of Success Conference in Miami, Florida, November 5th through the 8th. If you are an entrepreneur woman eating the fruit of your labor and looking to join a circle of success, fun, business-minded women that fellowship with each other, engage in compelling conversations, support, uplift, motivate, connect, and learn ways to increase your bottom line, join us. Go to ladiesofsuccessmiami.com or send me an email, bookneneleads at gmail.com and let me be your connector. I'm like, and what are you getting out of this financial and any? Because I'm like, I'm sure you set up the bylaws and some money has to come to you. Uh, because it doesn't seem like you're trying to invite Portia, Candy, Kenya, Cynthia, Tanya, Marlo, Eva on your quest of ladies of success because you want to toot your own horn or oh, what is it i, I mean because if you want all ladies to support uh, a organization that you founded or whatnot be it they may be your castmates or not it doesn't really matter but if you're trying to find these people like you say eating the fruit of their own labor shouldn't you have included them or at least give given them an opportunity to join it's all about building up the masses of women, right? We're talking about gender. We're not talking about just black women, are we? I'm just saying, Nene. Because we're in a world where we are fighting for equality. Not just so we're seen and heard all times. But for the other races as well being represented under that same umbrella. 
but I digress. We go back to the article. It says um, someone posted there will be an all out lives matter Karen commenting on absence of white people somewhere in this comment section. That was a follower. Another follower wrote drop some A's or S of the ladies in the picture please or ladies tag yourselves and a commenter said what was the name of the hotel so we can patronize them meaning the hotel that said yes you all we will sell child come on and get down with us okay yeah nini what was the actual hotel's name that was left out of this article going back to the article it says someone else posted beautiful you go nini no one can stop your greatness and another follower wrote to be positive and strong you you need to surround yourself with that spirit and energy and i love it yeah nini recently shared a powerful message for her friend fans so i guess that message is on her social media platform probably youtube probably instagram who knows but yeah i kind of thought that was just lackluster and i kind of saw that it was just one way uh the only way we're going to be a true people a true america the great is when we include all races and we could be like little children that have not been indoctrinated to hate a certain race or culture just to look at people as okay that's a girl that's a boy that's a woman that's a man and we can love on them regardless of looking at well i'm not supposed to be in this race i'm not supposed to be liking you because my uh parents and their parents and upon their parents generational curse is what i call it decided to say no i can't date that race because of xyz aren't we supposed to be better nini aren't we supposed to do better aren't we supposed to put certain things aside to have greatness for all and not for a set few just my pun intended nini now i'm looking for my family on youtube to weigh in tell me what y'all thought about this issue did y'all agree with me did y'all disagree with me did y'all find other perspectives of viewing the situation the subject at hand subject matter please let me know get down in them comments you know i like reading them you know i do respond and that's all i have for this video guys don't forget to continue to subscribe to the channel like the videos if you choose to definitely comment because you know i want to hear from you i don't want to hear from the ones that just want to just ooh, just tear into my ass i don't want those because like i said it depends on I, I ain't with the shits these days i'm just not with the shits okay but love you all including my haters because sometimes my haters become my family members later on down the road after we done got time to get accustomed to one another's and one another's ways and we see that we're not really as bad as we thought okay but as usual be blessed stay safe and remember no justice no peace no justice for all mankind or there will be no peace all right see y'all next video love y'all bye